so porch talk so this is a story from mexico that had to do with my son michael and i will always preface stories about my children with i have permission to tell this story when i when we were living in mexico it was like i think we moved there in like 83 84 and stayed until 1987 and my boys were small when we went down there. Michael was three and a half and John was one. So about two years into living there, Mike's about five and a half at this point, I was working in the office, in the diocesan offices with the bishop and some other people. And it dawned on me one day that I did not know what uh, bad or cuss words were in, me in Spanish. Uh, whenever I'd taken Spanish or sign language, I never went to the classes that, you know, today we're going to learn, you know, bad words, you know, how to cuss or whatever. It's optional, don't come. And I never felt a need for, for any of that. Um, I had one word that my mother-in-law said a lot at the time and I didn't know what it meant. I learned once I got to Mexico and it was like, ooh. <laughs> so, uh, but, I walked into the bishop's office one day and I said, um, we called him Senor Obispo, uh, Mr. Bishop, which is kind of odd, but that's what we called him. And everybody referred to him as that. And I said, Senor Obispo, I said, I need some help. And he goes, what is it, Karen? And I said, I do not know any bad words in Spanish. And he went, okay. And I said, could you help me with that? And he went, why would you, no. <laughs> I went, you've been so good. He taught me how to make animal sounds in Spanish and and they are different. You know, like a dog does not say bow wow, the dog says guau wow. So I mean, things are different. And I said, well, this is my dilemma is Michael is five and a half and it's going to be about the time that he comes home and he says something he's not supposed to and I will be clueless. I will not know that it is a bad word and I will not be able to deal with it as a parent. And he went, hmm. I see that is a problem. I said, can you help me out? And he goes, I don't know about that. And I go, oh, please, please, please. And he went, okay. And so he goes, um, what was the first word he said? I'll say this one, Mensa. And I went, okay. And he goes, you're not offended? And I go, he goes, Senor Obispo, you could have said cow for all I know. I have no idea what this word is. And he goes, oh, okay, yes, I can totally help you with this. And so he goes, he goes, Mensa, it's a bad word. And I go, but what does it mean? And he goes, well, I can't tell you what it means. And I go, well, I, if you don't tell me what the word means, I can't, how do I know how to punish or reprimand or whatever? And he goes, hmm, he says, okay. He says, if, if Michael says Mensa to somebody, he gets they call him a cachetada. He gets a boom on the butt and he has to go to his room for 30 minutes. And I went, okay. And he goes, so this is how we're going to do this. I'm going to tell you a word and then I'll tell you what the punishment is. It's like, okay. So then he says another word and he goes, this one, he gets no dessert, no dessert. And he goes to his room for 30 minutes. Okay. So I learned this whole string of words with things like he, he loses television time. He, he gets a spanking because this is a really bad word. And so this goes on for a few minutes. And so now I have this list in my head and I go home and we have people that live in our home because we're, uh, we're the diocesan guest house. Plus we have the seminary and girls that are living with us because they can't live at the seminary with the boys. We are in Mexico after all. And um, so we're all eating and it's family style and food is being passed around. And Michael turns to the woman next to him and says, uh, hey, Mensa, pass me the potato or something I went Mensa Mensa it's a bad word and and I go I go you need to go to your room for 30 minutes and you get no dessert I obviously had the the sequencing wrong but it served and he goes and he goes walking off back to his bedroom and Anthony looks at me and he goes that's a bad word and I go yes it is and he goes what does it mean and I said it means Michael gets no dessert and he has to go to his room for 30 minutes and he goes but what does it mean and I go I have no idea I just know what the repercussion is. And so it took me a long time to figure out what some of them were. Google has been immensely helpful. helpful. But um, I had girlfriends who would regularly use cuss words because I didn't, I didn't hang out with people who are like college educated. I just held regular folks. 
And um, I had this one, one woman who used this particular phrase all the time. And the way she used it made me think that it meant like to complain or bitch, like you're bitching, you're bitching about something. And so one day I'm in the bishop's office and he asks me about the cook at the seminary who is like the worst cook and not a very nice human being in that as well. And he says, what do you think about Doña Genoveva? And I went, oh, Senor Obispo, that woman siempre, always, chinga, chinga, chinga. And he, his eyebrows go up and he goes, <clears throat> Karen, he says, maybe it would be best to use the word quejar, which means to complain. I went, okay. I said, this woman, siempre, she's always quejando, quejando, quejando. And he goes, oh, okay. So, you know, I'm back in the U.S. about two years later and I'm sitting at dinner with somebody and we're talking about this and I'm telling him about the, the cook at the seminary because she just had a gazillion stories that went with her. And um, and I said, oh, and I told the bishop, you know, este señora siempre chinga, chinga, chinga. And my friend's eyebrows go up and he goes, you really said that? And I went, yeah. I said, she was always complaining. And he goes, what do you think that word means? And I go, I don't know, like to bitch or something. He goes, no. <laughs> and I was like, no. And he goes, no. He said, that's not what that word means. And I'm like, what does it mean? And he goes, Karen. He said, that's the F word in Spanish. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. I can't believe I sat in the bishop's office and kept using the F word in Spanish. And it's like, I'm, I've been and gone so many years. I don't even know how to make that right. But anyway, so that's, that's my story about cussing in, in Spanish. I didn't do it very well. My friend said every once in a while I would try it and I sounded like I was a little kid trying out parent words and it's like I always got it in the wrong sequence and everything. So I kind of gave up doing that. But anyway, <laughs> that's all for today.